Everyone, please. One at a time. Oh, I was starting to worry. I thought you were here to fix the... <laughs> uh, never mind. Yeah, we're more like demolition experts. So unless you want us to blow something up... How can you make jokes at a time like this? It's downright distasteful. Uh, anyway, what's going on? It's the Mako Pipeline. It sprung a leak. I paid a wandering merc to patch the thing up. I certainly wasn't about to fiddle with critical infrastructure as a layman. Though I thought I'd hear back from them by now. A merc? Yep. Some hotshot from Midgard's Undercity. Or so they claim. Sounds like a pro we ought to get to know. Oh, you'd like to meet them? Well, if you're that keen, would you mind delivering a message for me while you're at it? It's your standard Mako pipeline, really. Carries a portion of Midgar's yield straight to us. We'd be lost without it. Hence, my anxiety. We need it fixed ASAP. Our tank's got some left, but we'll soon be running on fumes. Makes me sick to my stomach to watch our supply slowly dwindle like this. That's rough, man. But hey, good opportunity to wean yourselves off that poison. <laughs> okay, now that one was funny. Our town technicians laid up in bed at the moment, recovering from a fiend attack. We asked Shinra to send someone to fill in, anyone who knows the work, but we haven't heard back. Fortunately for us, that mercenary rolled into town. Without him, we would have been up a creek. You will? Capital! Oh, I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm Fritz Bellinger, the mayor here. I'm sure that mercenary is hard at work over at the warehouse outside of town. Mind asking them to give us an update on the repairs? A simple, it's coming along, would suffice. Everyone, please!
talking about. <laughs> Place looks fresh out of Mercs to me. Did someone say Merc? I know you. You're that Sector 5 chick who was shitting on Avalanche. What? Is that Cloud? <sighs> but I was sure this wasn't your turf. Don't tell me. You're the Merc the mayor hired? Kyrie doesn't work for free. Or cheap. <laughs> How either of you get any work is a mystery to me. <laughs> We're here on behalf of the mayor. Man wants a progress report. Yes, progress is what I've been making. And I'm just dying to tell him all about it. But the thing is, uh, I haven't actually, like, done anything. I need more parts. <laughs> Wouldn't it be fun if we looked for him together? Hell no. I could really use 
a guiding hand from a vet in the industry. Like you! I swear I'll do anything! Anything? Right. I'll help. If you stop calling yourself a merc. You, sir, have a deal. Okay, so... These are the parts that I need. More would probably be better, but that number there's the bare minimum. So, any questions? You can probably find them in scrap heaps somewhere nearby. I mean, I know you can. Sweet! See you soon! I thought you were coming with us. No, I need to stay here and look for screws and hoops. Did you find what we need? Get up. 
find me, did she? Because if she did, I'm not going back. I'm sick of her treating me like a little kid, never letting me join her on a job. So I packed up and hit the road. Now I'm out here making my fortune. I can't wait to rub my success in her smug face. Tell him, Merc, defend me! this huh. you shouldn't underestimate an undercity girl I can spin garbage into gold and whip
good timing. Let's go! Take your way. Ready? Everything from the Merc herself. She told me how you helped with the pipeline repairs. And sure enough, thanks to you, the Mako is flowing again. We're in your debt. Where's your Merc now? I'm not sure. She left just as soon as I paid. For another job, perhaps. Guess that's what fame buys you. Plenty of work and never enough time in between. <sighs> Sounds like you still got competition, Merc. Before you run off, she set this aside for you. Insisted that her fellow mercs be compensated. So if you need anything at all, just ask. Don't know about you, but I'm dying to put my feet up. It's nice to have the place booked up again for once. Gosh, when was the last time that happened? It's open. Hey, so about that Yuffie kid, what do you think she wants with us? Be honest. Like Tifa said, your autograph. <laughs> Ah, the burden of fame. <laughs> Always knew this day'd come. Good thing my signature's a work of art. Let me prove it to you. Shinra didn't waste any time getting our names and faces out here, did they? Like I pray it will for you, Fee, upstairs.
great and all, but the poster's still crooked. We're recruiting for Chris. When was the last time you all talked to <laughs> Didn't think you'd still be hanging around. Well, since you clearly don't have anything better to do, think I could put you to work? The remainder of your bounty. I need it delivered to someone. I've already got a porter picked out, too. This here is Salmon. Since he'll be the one making the drop, it's your job to get him there safe. Huh. Doesn't seem like too much of a hassle, but who exactly is this money for? My son. Haven't seen him in a spell. Not since he left town. And never looked back. This gills me washing my hands of him. He's a grown man. Can't be clinging to his mom's skirts. Or her pocketbook. The crow's nest. Boy got sick of living under this steel sky. And my thumb, I suppose. So he went into the mountains way east of here. Found some more like-minded idiots. Kinda sad, if I'm being honest. If you're gonna run away, at least go somewhere interesting. Don't half-ass it. I meant what I said. Can't afford to take care of this town and his shit. I raised him best I could. Gave him every advantage. But he's gotta learn to stand on his own two feet. Besides, I've got someone else to take care of now. Don't I, Sam? Much obliged. Once you make it to the crow's nest, find Toby. He'll make sure you get the reward I promised. But if I find a single hair out of place on Sam, you won't live to enjoy it. You keep my boys safe. Yeah. 
Barely out of diapers. You've got time. Right, right. I'm just getting worked up over nothing. Yeah, she won't be leaving me for a while. Then again. Hey!
Sam, what are you doing here? <laughs> Came all this way and you're still full of energy. Uh, do I know you? We're Sam's bodyguards. Your mom hired us to keep him safe. And to make sure her boy got his allowance. Keep it. I ain't taking her money. I can make ends meet on my own. Who are they, Dylan? Friends of yours? Claire, what are you doing out of bed? You know you need to stay off your feet. I know you came all this way, but I can't accept that. Just make sure Sam gets home safe for me. You really are your mother's kid. Got her stubbornness and everything. Have it your way. Uh, Why don't you hang on to it? This is a fortune. If you really don't want it, I'll take it off your hands. But as a parent, I'm sure you want to give your kid the best life you can. And in my experience, that don't come cheap. Think it over. That's true. We'll take it. Dilster, what's looking for you, dude? Toby. Sorry, got a little tied up. Hang on, aren't these guys with Avalanche? Rhonda said I might run into you. Avalanche? 
Wait, you mean they're the ones who blew up those reactors? The superstars themselves. I just want to say it is such an honor to meet you. Actually, while you're here, think I could ask you for a favor? Seeing as Dylan's uh, situation seems to be taken care of? Yep, it's all good. Excellent. In that case, why don't we step into my office for a chat? Right this way. <laughs>